The Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you will surely die. When Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. Like autumn leaves, we wither and fall. Our sins sweep us away like the wind. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Yes, to the body, but also death to a relationship. For our sins have cut us off from God and hidden His face from us. Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse. To the woman, God said, I will cause you to have much trouble when you are pregnant, and when you give birth to children, you will have great pain. To the man, God said, By the sweat of your face you will eat bread until you return to the ground, for from it you were taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. The Lord God said to the serpent, Cursed are you among all the animals, tame or wild. On your belly you shall crawl, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. And I will put hostility between you and the woman. Her offspring and yours will always be enemies. Her offspring will crush your head, and you will bite her offspring's heel. God promised to send a male child born of a woman. The Promised One will rescue fallen humanity from the power of Satan, sin, and death. Creation itself will also be set free from the bondage of decay. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. The time has come, and God has kept His word fulfilling His promise. We wait with eager expectation for the time when God will restore everything.